Hi, I'm Steve Knudsen. I'm a Microsoft MVP for Office Services and Apps. Today I thought I'd uh, have a quick run through of some of the features of Microsoft Search for those of you that aren't familiar with it. So what we're going to do is start off with accessing the Search Admin Center. So in the Office 365 uh, admin, um, portal, admin portal, you can go down to a dedicated admin portal for uh, Search, which takes you to the Microsoft Search Center. So you need to be a global admin to access this. What we're going to do is just look at one of the really simple things we can do and add a bookmark. So what we do to start with is choose our bookmark, so we're choosing our bookmark to have here. Click Add, and in this case what I'm going to do is add the company website. So I'll give it a title, company website. Um, I'll give it a URL, which is our company website, so stratus uh, www.stp.co.nz, and I'm going to call it Stratus Technology Partners. Website. Uh, and then I'm going to add some keywords in here. So I'll just add one obvious one, Stratus. And then I'm also going to add in here uh, company website. Um, and then those two keywords will be um, our primary keywords for this particular search. If you scroll down a wee bit, we can see a few things about the uh, that can be configured here, which are quite useful. Um, you can have some additional reserved um, keywords here. You can also specify some settings such as the date range. Uh, so you might want to have a search result uh, bookmark which appears at the top of search, but only for a specific range, for example, uh, applying for Christmas leave before the end of the year, or information about the upcoming company conference that isn't relevant once the uh, company conference date is passed. You can also specify things such as the region which is available uh, for the um, uh, search result, so making it region specific or country specific. For example, show this information for Australian users but not for New Zealand users, or vice versa. Uh, you can also specify uh, which groups, which is, I think is a particularly useful feature. So the groups feature allows you to specify an Active Directory group, uh, or it's an Azure AD group, to um, target content to. So for example, marketing, which would apply to a marketing group, um, which means that this particular result would show up if you're a member of marketing, but not show up if you are not. Um, lots, of, lots of uses for that um, in particular. You can also target devices um, and special variations or link a power app, power app to this particular search. So what we're doing now is just going to publish this uh, publish this item and then show you where it shows up and where it doesn't. So now I'm going to hop over to office.com, uh, the default Office uh, 365 homepage. And up here you'll see it's got this option at the top here called search your organisation. So if I go into here and I type in Stratus, what will happen now is it's going to bring up the company website as a bookmark at the top of the results here, along with my uh, other results which are generated from um, just normal search indexing. So that's pretty useful. Now I'm going to jump over now into a, into a hub site. So I've got a SharePoint hub site. Uh, this is a hub site with several connected team and communication sites connected to it. And I'll show you what the experience is here. So up the top here it's got search across sites. If I type it into here and go Stratos, you'll see it brings back just the logo uh, in the company hub. It's not searched the other areas of my site, um, and so I don't get the bookmark. Um, it would be nice, I think, if the bookmark did show up in this area. If I click back to organization, so search the entire organization, then the bookmark does appear. So this is um, and the importance of search scoping for this kind of um, feature. Now, one last thing, if you want to go back into your bookmark area over here, we'll just have a quick look at a couple of other features that you have. Um, so once the searches have been done a while, you'll start getting some results showing into this dashboard area. Uh, you can also do location-based um, uh, searches. So you can specify, um, uh, go into here, so add a new location. Uh, and you can add some location history with um, uh, in here, which could be useful for maps and directions and bits and pieces. Uh, and you can also Excuse me, close that one. And you can also go and add in a Q and A, so answers to, to common questions. So I need my computer to catch up with me. Seems to be having the go slow on this cold, windy day in Christchurch. Click add on this one, and you'll see I get some different information in here, so I can add in a different type of bookmark uh, into the my search results. So that's uh, just a quick run through of what Microsoft Search is. Um, a really good uh, activity to do on a cold day. Run away and add some bookmarks in. Maybe pick your top ten or something like that, just to give it a bit of a go and then uh, maybe set up a little team to work out uh, um, you know, a wider set of bookmarks that would be useful to the organisation. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the day, subscribe to my channel and um, I'll post some more videos soon. Cheers, thanks, bye.